Welcome back guys to Age of the Empires 2 HD Edition. Today I'm actually going to be playing the brand new expansion which is called the African Kingdoms. And I heard this one was great. They released four new campaigns, four new civilizations, a bunch of bug fixes, and a million other things which I'm going to cover in this video. But for now, I quickly want to talk about the game itself because I've been covering this one since the very start. It got like re-released on Steam and since then it's got a ton of the community back into the game. The hardcore players came back and they complained. So what did they do? They released the Forgotten expansion. I also did a video on that expansion so you can check that out if you want. But basically that did a ton of competitive fixes like it added in mirror mode, a bunch of other bugs and things here and there. I forgot now but it released a ton of good things that everyone loved. And now they've released the African Kingdom. So that's what I'm going to be checking out. And I actually want to start off by going in multiplayer. You can see I have actually played the game a fair bit. Look at that. That's like nearly 100 games. Over 60% win rate, if I do say so myself. What a beast. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not that good at the game, guys. But what I am going to do is create. And you can either play original game or the expansions. And I'm just going to create it. And I'm just going to go into this. This is the... As far as I know, the best way of seeing exactly what all the classes do, all the new ones. So, I believe all the ones with these little funny African symbols are all the new ones. So, I'm going to pronounce every single one of these wrong. Let's just call this one the Beavers. So, if you want to support Justin Bieber, you can play the Beavers right here. They are horse and naval civilization. Villagers move 10% faster. That could actually be pretty valuable. Stable units cost 20% less, starting from castle age. Yep, ships move 10% faster. Ships, any civilization based around ships isn't really that popular because a lot of people avoid the water maps when playing public games, but all the competitive ones also have water, so I mean, the competitive players should love it. Camel Archer, Jenny Turo Mounted Skirmisher, sounds pretty good. There's some good unique units. Unique Tech. Team castles work 25% faster. Mm, might be good in team games. And the camel troops regenerate. What the f... That's, that sounds really good, actually. So you can just keep going in and out of battle. And team bon bonus... Team bonus... Team bonus genitor available in archery range. All right. So I'll quickly scroll through this. You can stop it if you want to... I don't know if you see anything that's different here, but there you go. Let's get out of that. Let's check out another another civilization now. Oop, I shouldn't have done that. I only had to click here. The Ethiopians. Boom. All right, so what do we got here? They got archers fire 15% faster. Receive 100 gold, 100 food when advancing to the next age. That would be very, very good for rushes. Um, pikemen and Halibrigadier upgrades are free. Oh, what? Man, this is the new rush... The rush, oh my god, these would be so good. Unique unit, show to a warrior infantry. I've got no idea what that is, but... Da, 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 they are created nearly instantly. Hmm. Yeah, these definitely... Oh, team bonus, tower and outpost, plus three line of sight. So these definitely look like a good infantry rushing race. I mean, civilization. You can't really go wrong with these stats. I mean... All the civilizations are fairly balanced, but this looks like they'd have a slight advantage, advantage especially if you're going archers. Although, I do notice um, when I watch the pro games, a lot of them go the cavalry archers. The cavalry archers. Man, my pronouncing's all off today. But a lot of them rush them when rushing, just because they got some more movement speed. And they seem to do a bit better, but I mean, if you... I wonder if that counts. Does that count as an archer? Even though it's on a horse? Who knows? If it does, they fire 15% faster. Even better for rushing. On to the next one. <laughs> um, Malayans. <laughs> Man. Every every single thing I've said this episode's pronounced wrong. But anyway. Buildings cost minus 15% wood. Um, barracks units. One pierce armor per age. Gold mining upgrades free. So this isn't as good as for rushing. But still some valuable stuff here. Oh my god. I'm not even... What's that, G Beto? Man, that's obviously pronounced wrong. Oh my, I can't pronounce any single word here. Town centers fire arrows. Oh, Calvary, plus five attack. Team bonus, university. See, this obviously isn't a rushing civilization, but 
still good. A lot of people like to play on um, Dark Forest or whatever that map is, where you can just wall it off off the start and get like a good... It's a basically anyone who played Age of the Empires back in the good old days when you got out of a cereal box, where the games were no rush, 45 minutes. That's basically what people use Dark Forest for now. They just rush a villager at their spam walls, so then you can't rush until you got um, Siege anyway. Um, and then we got Portuguese. I think this was the last one we haven't checked out. They... Naval and gunpowder. Oh, man, I'd hate, I hate this one already. All units cost um, minus 15% gold. Ships, 10% HP. Can build the Fitora in, <laughs> in Imperial Age. I'm telling you, I'm pronouncing everything wrong. Yep. Unique text. Yep, yep, yep. Team bonus. Yep. All right. Seems like a pretty good class or civilization. I call them something different every time, but you can see them all here. There you go. That's what you're comparing them to. If you can, you can just jump in the game yourself anyway. You should be able to see them because hopefully you're buying this expansion. But I'm out of here for now. The gameplay I actually want to show is in single player because multiplayer is actually extremely unreliable. I could get a laggy game. I could disconnect from a game. The game could go for 45 minutes. So for this recording, I'm of course going to be playing the African Kingdoms campaigns. Now, I've actually played the Forgotten campaigns in a previous video, and these two campaigns, I believe, were out in the original game like 50 billion years ago, so you should know that about them already. So, let's go. All right. Let's start off here. Let's just... We'll just play on standard, so I don't, I don't run into any trouble here, guys. You're 89 of the oh, nice voice acting. I begin my tale as the winds throw the sands up and place in <laughs> the fire, forcing the men and horses to take refuge and shield their eyes. I cannot help but notice how the camels stand tall and daunted. We are a people of the horse, but we have the resilience of camels. Are they going to pronounce well. how to say that? Invaders have swept through this land for centuries, and yet we Berbers have remained Berbers. powerful and strong. Yeah, I said that totally wrong. Until now, we have only rarely ventured outside of our homeland on the path of conquest. All of that is about to change. A man named Tariq Ibn Ziyad has sowed the seeds of ambition in the minds of warriors and simple herdsmen alike, and we prepare for war. Tariq is not as other men. Formerly a slave, he rose to be a brilliant general. Strong, charismatic, and tactful. Okay, is my How long does this go for should... exactly? Oh, there we go. Didn't go for too much longer. We could have listened to that. But, basically, some guys taking charge and leading the African kingdoms to invade some other place. So, that's what's probably going to be happening. And I liked how they did add a voice actor in there. I forgot if the previous expansions had voice actors and a little bit of storyline to them. But I liked that. That was definitely nice. Please start my game. Please. Please, I'm recording for YouTube. Do you not... Please. Please. Yay! Holy moly. This is the dude that... Oh, it's Our even got voice acting in here. Alright, well... I guess we just select all of them. They're just all... They're just all horses. <laughs> oh, that was easy. What are these dudes doing? Come on. Um, there's no villagers. Yep, no villagers. Looks like we're just gonna be conquering by force. Not by strategy. Oh no, we'll probably discover a town and then they'll they'll give it to us, maybe. Let's just get um you to get ahead over here. That's who we're attacking. Can I claim this? We have deserted the usurper Roderick to fight for an honorable man like yourself. Oh, of course the you have. Has camped just across the ford to the northwest. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. You've deserted them, or whatever, to join my army. It's a good cause. The objective has changed. I can't see the top of my map because I've got the stupid recording thing over it. They're an ally, but I can't use your building. You're not very helpful, are you? I can't even click this dude. What the hell? They leave that guy's one ally there. Great. Bet you're going to do very good standing there. I guess we'll just send the horses ahead. So we're basically just trying to conquer this. It cannot be that too hard. Um... Uh-oh. Get in front! They got pikemen! 
I got Pac-Man, boys! I got Pac-Man! Target them! Target them! What are you doing? What are you doing? All of you need to fight at once! Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked in the face! I'm getting wrecked! Are these guys gonna be alright there? Shoot. Help this side, help this side, you noob scrubs. Okay, target that guy. Target that guy. Man, don't judge my micromanagement skills, boys. That's where it's at. See, I won. Okay, now I need to shoot that guy, man. Now I need to actually work something out. Let's go. I really should have just gone in normal formation because my macro is fucking terrible. It's like not even, you can't even call it any type of skill. That's just, it's just, I want us to try and separate any archers from the front line here. Just so I know slightly, oh this guy, he can lead the charge, he's meant to be a beast of some sort. Alright. Okay. They're roughly in order of archers at the back and melee at the front. So we're just going to go in, scout this, draw them, pull out a little bit at a time. Because it looks like I can actually lose this. I do actually need to do some sort of strategy, so... There we go. Pull them back. And straight into an ambush! Fire! I'm being attacked by Roderick's army. I know, because I baited them into my trap. They, they're swinging their swords and killing several people at once. Let's bait some more of these noobs out. Come on, Roderick, what you got, bro? What you got, bro? If that's all you got, then I could just charge my whole army in, but I'm really hoping there's some more. And turn on them! Take them out, boys! Yeah! I'm just going to bring them all in. I think that was it. There's Roderick. Roderick, bro. You're about to be one-shot. Okay, he's not going to be one-shot. Apparently that guy's tank enough to kill about 100 of my units. I'm dead. I've lost the game. <laughs> just kidding. Alright. Our king has fallen. We are doomed. You are doomed. That is correct. Let us construct a camp and seize Cordova, the jewel of southern Iberia. What? What are you doing? What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's an ally. Can I build town center? Oh, I can. Establish a camp. Barracking right about here will be good. Get building, boys. Get building. Let's explore on my boat. Does that still work? I was shift clicking. Hopefully it goes to all those places. Oh, man. What the hell? That guy's got a... Some Oni Jazz place. We gotta scout this out. Um, alright. So that should do it. We just need to... I guess we'll get food. We'll get food, we'll get food. 62%. Alright, so we'll just wait for that. My, do my keep bindings still work? Enemy? Man, I got enough enemies. I think I'll pass on the... What are, what's my hotkey for this one? Create villager. Hotkey A. Wasn't that my hotkey A for building as well? Man, I made hotkey for everything. Oh shit. Don't bait him back here, you scrub lord. I need more everything. What are you doing? Keep mining. Did I tell you to stop? I've been defeated. What the fuck are you mean being defeated? Did they kill my main dude or something? What was the objective? <laughs> oh, I'm so trash, boys. Alright, guys. Try number two, and I promise not to fail this time. As you can see, I've been AFKing for a while. I got a ton of resources, a ton of units, and my king is safely in the middle of the town so I don't send him out as a scout by accident and get him killed. So just to catch you up on what I've done, I just built some farms, some houses. Um, I got a bunch of AFK villagers just because... 
I was just kind of going AFK, coming back so I could record after I finished pumping out all of these bad boys over here. As you can see, I got a little fleet of ships. I got some scorpions. I got some villagers doing nothing. They were actually building myself a castle just because I wanted to try out these units if some of my units happened to die. And I got 50 billion of the unique Jenny Tours, which actually look just like the king, and that's why I probably mistook them for a scouting unit and got my king killed last game. But anyway, we'll send our units in and we'll go wreck some NPC campaign face! Attack! Attack my units! Attack! Everyone, just rush in! I don't care what you're doing because I got way too many of you, and you can just sacrifice yourself so I can build new units anyway. Thank you very much, and the scorpions, which are my favourite, of course. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a battle here. Focus fire, please. Don't fail this. It looks like we've got about even amount of ships. But seeing as I'm focus firing and they're not, they're going to get absolutely wrecked. We seem to outnumber them on land, about 100 to 1. And my main firepower, the scorpions, haven't even got here yet. But I'll send them in here either way. Let's get some back shots here. Let's hit this dock so they stop making more ships. The ships are actually extremely annoying. They just kept attacking random places. I'm like, I don't want to build a dock, man. Leave me alone. But I ended up building one, as you can see, because I wanted to come back to this recording and finishing it with a win instead of a fail. Up, oh, sent my king in. He died or whatever I did wrong. I still don't even know. Look at them all running around. I believe I just have to kill the castle. But that's what these bad boys here are for. Um, because they just own... I love scorpions because... They're the only things that don't hit each other, so you can just build up a massive army, like 50 million of them, or siege anyway, and they just own anything. It's like a missile of destruction, watch. Fire! Okay, I've got to get them in a bit close, I'm used to them being upgraded. Ready, fire! It absolutely wrecks face. Well, they're not wrecking that much face, but you get the point, they're very good, very good army. Alright, come on boys, let's just go and attack the castle, let's finish this game up. You guys move in, take out... Oh, see, they're still pumping out ships. That's ridiculous. Destroy that. You guys, stop screwing around there. Get over here. Siege everyone on the castle. I do want to build some more units. Um, because I wanted to... I didn't actually get time to build any because I was at Popcat. But I do want to... I can just build these guys as well. But I do want to check out these camel archers. Oh, I guess I stock up a bit more. I've got like a billion resources, but... Oh, so that's those dudes. Yeah, these are alright. The camel archers are pretty good. I'm not sure if these were the ones that recovered health. Not 100% sure, but anyway. Let's just move these guys around. So we can get some more scorpions in. Come on, hurry up. What are you walking so slow for? Scorpions, attack! You dudes, attack! Ships! Attack! Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright. Looks like it is going to be going down fairly slowly, but whatever. We'll have some more units in here soon. Let's send these camel archers in. Finish the job. I'm actually really liking the, the Berbers, or as I call them, the Beavers, because they do have some pretty good units. I do like the camel archers. I do like these dudes, because they only cost... Oh, I'll just double check that for you. They only cost food and wood. Which is extremely easy to like keep gathering long, long in long games. So, and they are ranged. So I do quite like them. They are pretty good. Now I've got to build these guys. I guess you know my strategy when while while I'm building these. It is to suicide them. What the hell? Okay. Apparently we're losing. You're um, not doing a very good job, you scrub ships. Ah, I probably should have been looking at that. Oh well, looks like I get to build another army of about 50 billion of these dudes. And why not build another 50 billion of you as well? Let's just keep spamming the create button. Keep spamming the create button there. And we'll let the ships keep wrecking havoc here. That guy didn't even make it. Um, we'll destroy that so they stop making horses. Oh, that was actually a fail. I thought I had that in the bag, but apparently not. <laughs> uh, we'll get these dudes back behind the wall. These guys, I think, how much damage do they do? Uh, Self-destructs for... Does it, actually, does it say how much damage? 50 attack? I guess 50 attack. Look at the horses trying to get through. They all get jammed in there. 
bloody noobs. Alright, we got an army. We'll, actually, why don't I make some rams? They will own this place. Alright, so we got we got 50 billion units being created. I'll keep clicking them till they're maxed out on cap. They should pump out fairly quickly. Um, Alright, that's pretty much it. We just wait for them to create. I don't believe I failed that again. Look at all the dead bodies there. Castle's OP, man. Castle's OP. And they just keep spamming units as well. I think I was meant to take out this civilization first, but I was getting pretty annoyed at the um, the game. I just, I just wanted to end this campaign. I meant to be playing on normal, man. But hopefully I showed you guys most of the new features. You got to see all the new characters and um, different units you can create with the Berbers. And I also went through all the talent trees before. If you wanted to pause that and have a look in that more detail. Come on. Let's create some more of these. Is that a new unit? I haven't actually seen that before. Siege Tower. Let's create one of them. Let's create a Siege Tower. I just want to see what they are. I don't... I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them. They might be new. I'm not sure. But anyway. These guys will be our first line of attack. They shouldn't have any more um, boats, because I destroyed their dock. We'll get these guys to clear all the units. We'll bring all the battering rams in to soak all the damage. And then these guys will just go... And hopefully blow up their castle. That's the plan. Will it work? Find out. Probably not. But it'll look cool anyway. Alright, so yeah, you fill this up with units and you drive it up to the tower, I guess. You would just drive that in as a troll. I don't know if that's a new unit or not. Man, I got a high pop cap. I didn't realise how many units I had. Keep building some more, I guess. There we go. Keep building some battering rams. Man, they're going to get absolutely wrecked this time. Who reckons they're going to get wrecked? Oh, I definitely do. Can I put... Can I put them in that? Can I garrison them in that? What can you garrison in this? I don't know, but you must be able to... What the hell's that? Oh, I created two. <laughs> I was about to go, are they taking me with one of these things? How do you garrison things inside of it? No, whatever, I'm pretty sure you can garrison things inside of it. I just don't have any of those units. Alright, we hit pop cap. Now it is time to attack. So, first wave is going to be these guys. We'll just push them right in because we'll just soak all the damage. Let's send these guys in first, actually, to clear the path. These guys are just going to be, I guess, soaking damage. I don't even know if they do damage. Can they attack? No, nope, not even a, a little sword comes up to attack with. And then these guys are going to be my second wave, which I'm going to head straight for there. All right. Stop. Target. Target these noobs. Target that. Get away. Kill that. Good. Focus this guy. Focus that guy. Oh, that guy's still not dead. Oh my god. Kill the bloody catapult. The Mongol. Alright, kill that guy. Yeah, they do have a fair bit of health. 220. Oh my god. That, that army just got sh shrecked. What the hell? How upgraded are those things? What the absolute fuck? I'm just going to send wave after wave of them in. Are they... They're absolutely smashing me. Wow. Okay. The NPCs are either heavily upgraded or... Some bullshit. Maybe I just create castles right outside their base. Do the old good old noob strategy on them. Look. That's... Stuff it. Just go straight for the castle. Go straight for the castle. Can I even... I can't even... Yeah, I can't upgrade my town center. they got some stupid scouts running around in my base and shit. Alright. Let's get the castle units pumping straight in as well. I'm gonna create camel archers. Not enough gold. I'm gonna have this guy creating them. I didn't... I have to select them all separately. And these are all gonna be going straight in. Alright, just go for it, dudes. Just fucking kill whatever you can. Let's get these guys to the castle. Come on. They're all bugging out. No, nothing's gonna make it through. Oh my. Suicide bomb that guy at least so I feel better. Man. 
I'm actually getting tricked. I'm gonna cut the video until I win. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep sending in units. Just keep spamming these dudes which don't cost gold because I've mined all the gold on the map. Yeah, there's only a tiny bit of gold left to even mine. Man. Go! Destroy the castle! Yes! No, what are you doing taking the long way, you scrubs? Oh well, wave after wave, that's how you do it, boys. No strategy, you just keep sending wave after wave of units in. Die, oh, get it! Kill them all! They're not taking any damage, yes! Damage it, destroy the castle! Wave after wave of units is working, I thought more would get through, but this is good, yes! Not a good hit, he just hit that one on the way past. Boom! Objective is complete! Oh my... Wait, it's not over? I thought I succeeded. Look how many guys I sent into their deaths. I am victorious! Finally! I'm sorry guys that that was so noob. My, my fault there, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's just listen to this. Thousands of men lie dead. Yeah, that was my dude. Were Sorry enemies, about that. <laughs> the Visigoths fought valiantly and honorably. It is a melancholy thing to see their corpses left to the crows and wolves. As we entered the city of Cordoba, men stared in awe at the architecture and riches on display. Now is no time for resting, Tariq tells us. There is much left to be done. Yay, much more to be done. Woo! <laughs> Military stats. Yay, I bet the NPCs. Economy stats. Yeah, I smashed the NPCs. Technology stats. Yes, first to castle age. Yeah, 48 villages. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well guys, all in good fun. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I do tons of games and I've been keeping track of Age of the Empires since the very beginning of them releasing Age of the Empires 2 on Steam. So stay tuned for more of that. I do get all the copies early and I forgot but I've actually got a few CD keys to give away. I might just drop them in the comment section randomly in the future, so just come back to the channel, check the comment section, or I might put it on screen, or I might do a giveaway for those of you who comment, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but you'll probably see it on screen now, what I'm going to do in the description or in the comment section, so check that out, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.